today's video, I'll be um, running the latest PCSX2 PlayStation 2 emulator on this computer. So I was having some problems running some games for the PlayStation 2, like uh, Terminator 3, some other games as well. Time Crisis 2. It wasn't running on um, RetroArch or the old, the older version of PCSX2. So you could resolve this issue simply by downloading the latest version of PCSX2. So let's begin. So you could get the latest version of PCSX2 on their official website. I'll leave all the U URLs in the video descriptions below. That's the latest version. The one that, that I'm going to use is for Windows Download. If you have a Apple computer, you could you, you could download this. Or if you have Linux, you could download one of these. For me, I have I'm using Windows 11 Home on this computer, so I'm going to select that. It should not take very long for you to download it. It's not a very large file. So I downloaded that. I'm going to put it into this folder. And name it here. And just dump all the files into that folder. Just like that. Okay, that's that's it. We'll need some other files to get this to work. We'll need uh, the BIOS files for the PlayStation 2. So uh, you can go here to this URL. And I'll select the BIOS that I want. Download this one, Full Pack BIOS Batacera version V35. Download that. You could go here to this URL. I'm sorry, let me get that URL. Go here this URL and download download this this has all the PlayStation 2 BIOS files in here just go in here and download that you may need a program called 7-zip if you don't have it go here and you could download this you'll need this uh, program to unzip a dot c file so i'll put that in the url as well now i have all the files so i'm going to create another folder called bios And I'm going to get all the required BIOS files in there, which are 
which are these files here and these files there those files there um, let me begin I'm just going to dump everything. PS2 BIOS. And I'm going to get the required files for the Batacera version 35. Here. Let's see what are what files are required. This one, all of these. Get those. Put that into the BIOS folder. We'll need a erom.bin file. that in there we'll need a rom one dot bin and rom two dot bin these two files right here okay that's it that's all the files you will need so now I'm going to Create a shortcut and put this on the desktop so I can access it more easily, just like that. Put it here like that. So let's start it. It's safe. I downloaded it from PCSX2's official site, so it should be okay. Next. So we need to set our BIOS folder. And it's here, basically. Select. Next. Next. Yes, continue. We want to add a game directory. This is where my game directory is at. I'm going to select that. Yes. Now we have to set the controller. Go here to settings, go to controllers, go here. Automatic mapping. I'm just going to select my controller, which is Logitech Dual Action. That's it. As for the games, I'll show you where to get them. Sony PlayStation underscore A. So that's for all the A's. Let's go to B. Everything for B for PlayStation 2 games. And that's how you would index it. That's how you would find it. And I'll leave that in the video description below, but I'll leave it as, uh, as this. And you could put B, C, D, whatever you want. And you could also I have another link here for more. You could get them here as well. But here is limited, but you could find some as well. So let's uh, start the emulator. Okay.
If you want full screen, it's Alt and Enter at the same time, or you can go to View and just click on full screen to get that. Berserker, fight! Okay, the exit, you press escape, the escape key. And you could just close it like that. Or you could change discs or do whatever you want. If you have to change this, you could just change it here. Or you could save states, load states, do everything you need to do. Close, I'm just going to exit without saving. That's basically how you set it up and use it. Very simple. Let's play another game. Let's see game properties. Region is U. I think that's United States. And you can see all the details about the game here. You can press B to get back. You could also change the change other settings like um, video car uh, memory cards you could just leave it a default it doesn't really matter here for that audio settings if you want to change that you can do that graphics you could set the aspect ratio 4.3 is fine, but if you want to change it to 69, that's, uh, I think that's good for resolutions like 1080p. You could do that, but I just like to keep it at the original resolution, which is standard. Or you could just leave it on default. This is fine for me. Adapter, default, that's this, of course. And you could change settings here as well. 
that's pretty much it for this video. I'll leave all the URLs in the video description below. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.